Hi and welcome to this tutorial. The previous tutorial was about introduction to annotations and we saw a simple annotation called uh, required which allows us to specify which dependencies are actually required. Well, that, dep that annotation is actually not helping us to do any uh, dependency wiring. In this tutorial, we're going to look at one annotation which helps us actually wire dependencies the same way we are uh, doing in the Spring XML by specifying all these properties. Uh, the annotation that we're going to talk about is called auto-wired. And um, what we do is, in order to wire any dependency, we specify the add auto-wired annotation in order to let Spring auto-wire the dependency into the required member variable. Uh, this is similar to the auto-wiring that we've seen in our uh, earlier tutorial. We, we used to auto-wire by name, we could auto-wire by type. Uh, this auto wiring is actually uh, auto wiring by type. But then, uh, if you remember, we saw that auto wiring by type is sometimes ambiguous. It depends on what beans we have uh, specified and what types of beans we have specified in the Spring XML. However, the add auto wired has a few other tricks up its sleeve, and we can uh, make it less ambiguous and we can configure what beans get actually injected. So, we'll have a look at that. Uh, first, let me remove the required annotation and the required bean po post processor that I've defined over here. I'm just going to comment this out and save this. Now what I would normally do is uh, I would have a property and then define a dependency for the center member variable. But instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an annotation provide this dependency. So here on the setter, I'm going to use the annotation at auto wired and uh, I will import this again from um, beans factory annotation, same as earlier. Okay, so I have uh, let me remove the earlier import as well and we can save this. So, this is all that I need to do in my class in order to make this auto wired. Now, in my Spring XML. What's going to happen is, now again, I don't have to specify a property here because that dependency wiring information is specified using this annotation. Now, let me first remove the other point objects. I'll just leave the point object that I want uh, the wiring to happen. So I'll just comment this out and I'll also comment uh, the triangle and I'll save this. So Right now what's happening is very simple. We just have a circle bean and uh, we have a point bean. And now I have uh, made the point member variable of the circle bean as auto wired. So it's very straightforward for Spring to know that this is actually the bean that needs to be auto wired. I've commented pretty much everything else. Um, now, again, just like our uh, required annotation, auto wired annotation is also a post processor. So there is a post processor that we need to define in the Spring XML that's going to look for the at auto wired annotation in all the Spring beans and it's going to do the auto wiring. And uh, we'll have a look at that post processor here. Uh, again, we go to the beans jar and in the factory annotation package, Here you see auto wired annotation beat post processor. So this is the post processor that's gonna do the work. So let's uh, let's declare that outside the comment here. I'm gonna call this auto wired annotation bean post processor. Let me save this. Okay, so it's it's simple. I just have def declared the auto wire annotation bean post processor, and in my circle class, I have made this center member variable as auto wired, and I have supplied a bean in the XML which matches that type. So I have a point bean. So Spring knows that that's what needs to be auto wired. So when I run this, and I'm doing a get bean of circle, and I'm doing the draw, it should print the point A as zero, 00, which is fine, it's working fine. Now, here's a trick. Now what happens if I uncomment this? Now let's say I uh, make multiple beans 
of the same type made available here. So I have three point beans, I have point A, point B and point C and I have made this point member variable auto wired by type. Now what's Spring going to do? Now let me save and run this. So here you can see it's going to get an exception. Okay, and the exception is error creating bean with name circle and injection of auto wire dependencies failed. Okay, so it is not able to find out which bean needs to be injected. We'll look at the details of this a bit later, but uh, here's what I'm going to do now. Instead of calling these point A, point B, and point C, what I'm going to do is point A is the bean that I'm concerned about. I want this bean to be injected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the point A bean name to be center. So let me change this as center and I will save this. So I'm what I'm doing is the bean that I want to be auto wired. I'm just changing the name and I have a few other beans of the same type, but obviously with different names. Now let's have a look at what Spring does. Now if I run this, here you can see it's actually pulling up 0, 0, even though there are multiple beans of the same type. So here's what's happening. Auto-wired annotation first looks for type. And if it finds that there is only one bean of that type, which is the point type, even though the name is different, it's going to auto-wire it because, hey, it's just one bean. Now, if there are multiple beans of the same type, what Spring is going to do is, what the auto-wire annotation is going to do is, as a second step, it's going to see if there are any names that match. So first, it's going to look for type and it finds multiple beans of the same type. So that's not going to help now. Now, with the second thing that it's going to do is it's going to look for the name of the bean if it matches the name of the member variable. And then if that matches, then it's going to assign that bean and then it's going to proceed with the execution. So it's actually doing some intelligent uh, guesswork here. Not really guesswork, but it's intelligently looking at multiple things. First, it's going to look for type. There's just one bean, fine, it's going to assign it. And if it does not find, the, I'm sorry, if it finds multiple beans of the same type, then it's going to look for clues in the bean name. And then if it finds the bean name, then it's going to assign it. Now, let me change this back and uh, I'll show you one other way in which we can uh, give clues to this auto wired annotation to help it isolate to a particular dependency. Now, let's say I cannot change the name of this uh, bean. Say I'm using this for multiple uh, multiple other objects and I cannot change the name. Let's say the triangle was also here and I was using point A. Obviously, I cannot change this and then have it auto-wired uh, by name. I would have to define different beans with different names so that it can auto-wire based on name. So there is another strategy that we can use uh, to solve this problem. Okay, I have multiple beans of the same type and I cannot change the bean name. Now, how do I give clues for spring to auto wire this. I can use something called as a qualifier. Now I can use a add qualifier and I can specify a qualifier name. Now what is a qualifier? A qualifier is something that I can mention in the bean definition to say that this bean is actually a circle related bean. Okay. Now how I do that is over here in the bean definition, I use a qualifier tag and then I say value equals, let's say I call this circle related. Okay, I'm telling, I'm qualifying this bean to be a circle related bean. Okay, and now here, I'm going to say qualifier is circle related. Okay, now I will have to do the import of this qualifier. Again, this is from factory annotation. Now, what Spring is going to do is it's going to check for auto wired and uh, it's going to look at all the beans that belong to the same type. Now, it finds that hey, there are multiple beans of the same type, then it's going to look for name. It's going to see if uh, any of the beans have the name as center and of the point type. It finds no such bean. The next thing it's going to do is it's going to look for 
the qualifier. It's going to look for any of those uh, beans which have a qualifier that matches the qualifier that we have defined over here, which is circle related. It finds that only one bean among these three has the qualifier circle related and there you go. It finds the bean and then it assigns it to the center. Now, if I save this, I'm going to save this as well. And if I run this, here you see you get an XML error. It says qualifier must be declared. Now what's happening is I have not mentioned all the XML namespaces over here. So, so far this was working fine, it was just bean, but uh, I'm going to add the XML namespaces, the complete list of XML namespaces because it's going to be handy in the future. If you have been following along, you will want to add that in your uh, XML as well. So what you do is go to uh, Spring Framework and in the projects, search for some config.xml. Okay, I have the annotation config.xml. I'm going to copy this bean tag over here. Here you can see it has all the XML namespaces configured and this is going to come in handy. So I'm going to copy this and uh, paste it over here. And then of course I will have to remove the doc type here and say save. So all, since all these namespaces are configured, uh, you can use the qualifier over here. And it's also handy because of a few other XML elements that we're going to add in the future. Uh, if you have been following a lot, make sure you make this change in your Spring XML as well. OK, so now we are all set to run. If we run this, here you can see it's picked up 0, 0 again. Now, why has it picked up 0, 0? Because even though there are multiple beans uh, of the same type, there's only one which has the qualifier and then um, that is what I have added over here as a qualifier. So that's what it picks up. So again, auto-wired is a handy feature. You can wire beans uh, depending on type and also depending on name uh, because that's the second guess that it's going to make. If it finds multiple beans of the same type, it's going to look for a name. And uh, the other clue that we can provide is the qualifier. If you have uh, multiple beans of the same type again, it's going to look for a bean which has the qualifier that you've put over here. And then if it finds a bean with the same qualifier, it's going to assign this. So again, this is the auto-wired annotation, which is behind the scenes, the required annotation, I'm sorry, the auto-wired annotation bean post processor that's doing all this work for us. Now, um, since we've added these uh, namespaces, there's actually a tag which helps us with all these uh, post processors. So here we added the uh, required bean post processor for the required annotation. We added the auto-wired annotation bean post processor for the auto-wired annotation. Now there's actually a shortcut which helps us define all these different uh, post processors which are all related to annotations. Now instead of defining each and every one of these, what I can do is, if you see here, you have a annotation config tag over here. So this is actually a shortcut for defining all these annotation bean post processor tags. So I can just add this one instead of adding each and every bean post processor over here related to annotations. And this is going to take care of initializing all those bean post processors. So now this is going to work even though we have not defined the bean post processor. There you go. The annotations are working. And uh, this is again a handy shortcut for defining all the annotation related bean post processor configuration. You don't have to define all of them one by one. Just add this and you're done. You can add any number of annotations to your beans.